While GPU prices have continued to drop over the last couple of months, prices are still way too high and it's definitely not a good time to try and be buying one unless, of course, you're really fast. But the good news is, is that prices and availability should hopefully be getting much better in the not too distant future and you actually have a great alternative that's available right now that nobody's talking about. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by CDKDeals.com. CDK Deals is a website dedicated to getting you the best prices on games and software, and right now you can get a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for an insanely low price. Just find the best price and apply my special discount code GPC20 for an additional 20% off. You can also check out securely with PayPal, and once the payment is cleared, you should get access to the code both in your account as well as in your email. In order to activate the new copy of Windows 10, just search Activate under Windows and type in your key. So if you want to learn more, be sure to click the link in the description below. Alright, so recently I made a video giving everyone a heads up about a Best Buy drop that was happening, and I was glad to see that many people were able to secure an NVIDIA RTX 30 series GPU for MSRP, which is definitely awesome. If you want to be up to date on GPU prices and availability, definitely get subscribed if you're not already, but there are still a huge amount of gamers out there with no GPU, and while I'll do my best to help you try and get one unfortunately well you might not want to hear this but right now just isn't a great time to try and be buying one and realistically you have a much better option available to you right now which we'll touch on in just a second but first let's go ahead and talk about when I do think it'll be a good time to start looking for cards and in order to figure that out well first I think we need to figure out why it's so difficult to get your hands on a GPU to begin with and I think it comes down to two major factors now the first factor and there are many people who have talked about this already is that that, well, actually, there's just a lot more gamers now than there ever have been before, so the amount of demand coming from gamers is definitely much higher, which would have been hard enough for all these companies like Samsung, TSMC, and all the memory makers as well to meet that demand by itself. But actually, the second factor, I think, is really the straw that broke the camel's back. I think this is essentially the main reason as to why you can't get your hands on GPUs, and that's miners. Now, there's many people out there who bizarrely say that mining has nothing to do with why you can't get your hands on video cards, but I think it's fairly obvious. I mean, you go ahead and you look on eBay and the LHR or light hash rate cards that aren't as good as at mining are much cheaper than their non-LHR counterparts. On top of that, every single time that we see a boom in the value of Ethereum, the main currency that's mined by GPUs, well, GPU prices go way up. So it's very clear to me that yes, Ethereum mining is having a huge impact on the reason as to why you can't actually get your hands on GPUs. Honestly, I wouldn't be too surprised if Ethereum mining contributed to like the uh, you know, half the demand that's actually going on right now. So like I mentioned earlier, it's hard enough for them to meet the demand of just gamers already, but you add on mining and well, yeah, there's just no hope whatsoever of them being able to, you know, cater to gamers and miners at the same time because one gamer might want one or two cards, one miner might want like a hundred, a thousand, or thousands of cards. So that yeah, there's just no way they're gonna be able to satisfy both those markets at the same time right now. But now we have to go ahead and talk about what the solution to this is. And I think the solution is gonna be, well, Ethereum mining has to go away in order for you to have a good or easy time of getting your hands on a GPU for its MSRP. Yes, you can buy pretty much any GPU you want right now on eBay or even on websites such as Newegg or Amazon, but the price of those GPUs is far over what the MSRP is supposed to be. And realistically, if you want those MSRPs to come back, you're gonna have to see Ethereum mining go away. And you might be asking the question, well, when is that going to happen? Well, I can't tell you 100% for sure when Ethereum mining is going to go away or even if it will. What I can tell you for sure is the EIP 3554 or Ethereum Improvement Proposal 3554 is going to be hitting in December, at least according to all the information that we have right now. And what this EIP is going to do is it's going to introduce a difficulty uh, curve to the whole Ethereum mining that's going to make it much, much more difficult to mine Ethereum, leading to it being far less profitable. Now, some people are going to say, well, they'll move on to other currencies, but the problem is all those currencies altogether don't come anywhere near to the market cap of Ethereum, which means that if a bunch of people jump from Ethereum to these other currencies, they still aren't going to be as profitable as Ethereum is right now because the difficulty of those currencies is going to go way, way up.
up. So, you know, the way I see it right now is that if we do get to December and things haven't, you know, fixed themselves by then, then EIP 3554, which is paving the way for proof of stake, which will completely eliminate mining on Ethereum altogether, should have a significant impact to the point where I don't think these miners are going to continue to pick up GPUs. Now, are they going to sell their GPUs on the used market? I hope so. I can't tell you for sure if they will. They might just choose to hang on to them and continue to mine on them, even if they're not making, you know, a whole lot of money, as long as they're not losing money, they might continue to hold on to them and mine with them. But either way, yeah, by the time we hit, you know, get to December, I do think that this whole mining thing is going to significantly decrease and it's going to make it far, far easier for you to get your hands on a GPU. Now, of course, you know, anytime between now and then suddenly, you know, all these currencies could get like banned by the US government. They could suddenly have a bunch of people decide to dump it and it could suddenly become worth far, far less than it is now. I mean, this could happen tomorrow, next week, in a month, or we might have to wait till December. That's something I don't know for sure. So it could happen any day, but realistically, if you want a for sure timeline, at least according to all the information we have right now, as long as it doesn't get delayed, then by December, I do expect there to be a huge reduction in miners buying GPUs. But again, we'll have to wait and see what happens there. Hopefully there are no delays. But now let's go ahead and talk about what your alternative is that you can for sure choose right now if you don't want to wait, uh, you know, until an uncertain amount of time or at least until December to try and get your hands on a GPU. And a lot of you guys aren't really going to like this because you're PC gamers at heart, but realistically, guys, you can go ahead and buy an Xbox Series S right now for $299 on Amazon. Of course, I will have an Amazon affiliate link in the description below. And I know, I know it's not a substitution for PC gaming. You can't do everything on an Xbox that you can do on a PC. I get that. But guys, hear me out. You can actually connect a mouse and keyboard to an Xbox. Xbox Series S. It does have the availability to output 4K. It does have the availability to output 120 frames per second. So depending on how the developers made the game, there are going to be games out there that you can potentially play at 120 FPS, at least at 1080p. Now, if we take a look at the specs of an Xbox Series S and we compare it to something like the 6600 XT, uh, realistically, if you compare like the price point right away already, $300 for an Xbox Series S, you can actually buy it. $380 for a 6600 XT and you can't even even buy it. And that's just one component. Whereas with the Xbox Series S, you're getting an eight core 16 thread CPU. You're getting an SSD. You're getting the motherboard. You're getting the GPU. And if we compare the GPU to the, uh, you know, the 6600 XT, while yes, it isn't as powerful, it still is actually pretty powerful and it should be able to allow you to play every single AAA game. So if you want something right now, this is going to be a great option for you guys. I, again, I understand if you have a PC right now, this isn't going to be for you. But for you guys out there who are waiting to build a PC and you don't have anything, maybe just buy an Xbox Series S for now because if we take a look at the GPU, well, it actually has 20 RDNA 2 compute units clocked at around 1.5 gigahertz. Now, if we compare that to the 6600 XT, uh, which by itself is more expensive than the entire console, that actually has 32 compute units clocked, uh, you know, as high as 2.5 gigahertz, but the game clock is 2.3 gigahertz. So if we compare them, you know, realistically, if you're, say, playing a game at 1080p, 60 frames per second on the Xbox Series S, well, then the 6600 XT would be able to do the those same settings at roughly around 144 FPS. So yes, the 6600 XT is definitely far more powerful, but you are paying so much more right now. I mean, even if you can get a 6600 XT, even the MSRP is absolutely outrageous and far too high. But even if you can get one, you're going to have to spend at like probably at least $500 on one, which is just a huge ripoff. You might as well get an entire system right now for $300. No one's scalping you. It's its MSRP. It's a great machine, to be honest with you. I'm going to be picking one up or an Xbox Series X, whichever one I can get. I've noticed the Series X is a lot harder to get at the moment. That's why I'm talking about the Series S. I'm going to get one. I'm going to hook up a, you know, a, a mouse and keyboard and I'm going to test it out and I'm going to tell you guys, you know, how is it playing these games with a mouse and keyboard on a console? Of course, you know, 120, 144 FPS is going to feel better, but if you can at least get 60 FPS on this thing and it can get you by, you know, two, three, four months uh, until all these, uh, this whole situation solves itself. Well, you know, only spending $300 to get a great AAA experience on a lot of these titles at 1080p isn't really going to be too bad. But hey, that's just what I think. Would you buy an Xbox Series S or are you just all PC gamer and there's just no way you would ever touch a console? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below and of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and Nvidia get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.